Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Happy Saturday. Today is Saturday, January the 26th. Hope everybody is having an amazing day. Today is Q&A, and I have all my questions, and I'm going to answer them to the best of my ability. I think we have like uh, nine, so it might be ten because some of them have like two. So let's just give it a take and just say it might be 12. But guys, look, I have on my beautiful sweater. Y'all like that? Let me see if y'all can see that. So this is what it looks like, if you guys can see, in the back. And these are the jeans, and I like them. I think they fit really, really good. So yeah, so I'm liking. Okay, guys, so let's just get straight into um, these questions. If you guys have some coffee or some tea that you would like to uh, take part in, go ahead and get it and come right back. I have some tea here. And today I am drinking some, uh, this is my chai tea by Tazo, if you guys can see that. So that's what I'm having. So, because it's cold here and I like to be toasty. But anyway, I'm not going to make this long. I'm just going to answer these questions for you guys. And you let me know down below what you think, feel, or if you have any more. And then I will, um, I will answer them for you. Okay, the first question I have is from... Uh, Lynn Mayfield, she would like to know what made me become a vegan and has it improved my life? So that's two questions. Okay, the first one is what made me become a vegan is, I don't know if you guys um, remember me from when I first started, but I always was like a workaholic, I mean a workout person, like to work out a lot, and then I incorporated like my hair to be healthy and my um, I started with my hair and then I started with my skin and then that uh, st that's the the beginning of it and then um, my husband we were vegetarians and then he came up with the, I the idea and the concept of being a vegan and that we don't have to eat meat that we can have like more potatoes and stuff like that and we will be fine so I said okay I didn't think it was nothing that was gonna harm us so I joined him with that and it, it has improved my life a lot it has improved both of our lives a lot because for one um, by making healthier choices you are going to feel better, you are going to look better, um, your skin is going to look better, and um, overall your whole health is, um, is going to be better. So if you're a person who have high blood pressure and things like that to run in your family, if you change your diet, it will change the way that you feel. So I hope that answers your question. Okay, number two, Beautiful Ross would like to know, how did you learn how to make homemade stuff and what book or website do you follow? I do not follow a website. However, I learned on my own how to make stuff when, since I was a young kid. Um, I have one sister and when she moved out when I was younger, I was able to decorate my whole bedroom and my mother let me. I started hanging up wallpaper. I just started just having a thing and an act and a talent for to beautify. So that is what made me start doing um, making homemade stuff and then I learned things from my, you know, watching my mother as a young girl and the things that she used to do. So that answers that question. I hope it does. Uh, number three is from Google Woods. Google Woods would like to know, is there something in my life that you regret doing or have done? I had to think about that. And uh, I think a lot of us have things that we wish we could have um did or done and regret that we did it or we did we did not do it for me it would be i wish i would have went to school college when i was a little bit younger instead of getting into my adult age going to school but however i have learned a great deal and i've um i've learned a great deal and i just I, i've had a lot of great experiences doing that but i just wish I would have did it when I was a little bit younger. That's the only regret that I really, really have. And um, yeah, that, that's, that's the only one I can think of right now. If I come up with something else at a later date, I will definitely answer it again. Okay, the fourth question is, by, is from Nora Orr. She would like to know, my question is that your hair looks so healthy. Can you show us how you take care of it? I think I did in a, in a video. Maybe I didn't. But... This is my natural hair, you guys. Um, so you guys have seen it before. If I flat iron it, if I don't, if I twist it. So the only thing I do to my hair is I wash it every blue moon, whenever I feel like it, with a, a conditioner and I'll add a little bit of vinegar 
and I'll just wash my hair with that maybe twice and then I'll just put coconut oil in it for the remainder and every time it gets dry I just add the coconut oil so that is all that I do for my hair but I will do um, I could do like a twist a twist out or something like that but if you guys go back sometime I think I do have a video where I did do something to my hair so yeah that answers that question that was two questions so some basically it's like 12 or 14 it's just because y'all asked too beautiful Ross would like to know again is is a uh, my weight oh is my weight loss from drinking apple cider vinegar I don't think all in all it is I think maybe uh, 10% has something to do with it. But guys, I, I walk every day. I walk four to six miles every day. I do jumping jacks. I do, uh, I guess you would call it Pilates uh, yoga for at least 15 minutes. And I do sit-ups every day. And uh, it all depends on how I feel. I might jump rope, 100 jump ropes, like almost every day. So I do think the vinegar does help. But the majority of it is, is actually what I do. Um, Jay Johnson would like to know, uh, I would like to see more videos on transparent transplanting plants and what is a good time to tra when is a good time to transplant your plants or propagate um, and so forth so for propagation I think it's anytime as long as you is your house your as long as your home is warm I feel as though you can propagate your plants at any given time you just have to know the techniques how to get the root ball separated and all those good things and you know buying your good soil and things like that so propagation is anytime however with transplanting the plants that has something in propagation I think both of them you need to have warm weather here in Ohio it's cold so I would not be propagating anything here so if you live pertaining to where you live at I think it doesn't really ma I think it matters far as like the uh, warmth so I think your home need to be like 65 or something it has to be kind of warm for you to do that because you're going to shock the plant first of all so you don't want to do that so if you're going to transplant the plant you should wait until it gets a little warm the soil is warm so it won't have that much of a stress or a shock okay um jay johnson wants to know oh no i already read his okay this is number seven but i've asked him more than number seven sophisticated mama will want to know what is a hair what's what she say she wants a hair routine and a show a show of how i uh plant she wants to me to show her how I take care of my plants. I guess it says show a plant care routine. So I will have that in, the, in the, um, and probably in the next two videos or something. I will show you guys how I take care of my plants, how often I water them, and things like that. So I will do that for you, sophisticated mama. Thank you for that question. Um, number eight, which I think now we are number 14, really. Loving Life Pen, are you new to the channel? Because I've never seen your name here. But Loving Life Pen would like to know, what's your best find from the Goodwill? Guys, if you've been following me for a long, long time, you already know. Every time I go to the Goodwill, I always find a good find. But I'm going to tell you, lately since I've been to the Goodwill, Goodwill, not Salvation Army, my best find I found so far was my desk that's over there. So, guys, um, if you have not seen that video, which I think you have, you need to go check it out because I found that desk. It was actually, uh, I don't know, I don't remember if it was $10 or uh, $12 or something like that. I just can't remember. Somebody was calling, so that's why I was looking over here. But anyway, the desk is a beautiful desk, and you guys go back and see, because we got it before uh, the holiday. That was like our the Christmas gift or whatever. So that, so far, was my best find since for a very long time but every time I go I always find something beautiful it likes it's like the Lord leads me to that so he always helps me find nice things um, Diane Green this is the last question you guys working on nine minutes good uh, Diane Green would like to know she said you are always so positive at first this wasn't a question she just said it so I turned it to a question it was just she was just stating that I was positive so guys um, I need to stop saying um but me personally all I know is positivity because if you are not a positive person you don't bring anything good to yourself so I just want to bring all the good energy and leave all the negative energy you know some over there so with that being said I just try to surround myself with uh, beautiful music beautiful people to talk to mainly like my mom uh, 
she's a beautiful person to talk to because she never, never steers me wrong ever. If I'm having a bad day, I have some trouble in my life or anything that's going on at home, she just always light enlightens me. I read my word. I try to stay positive. I do, like I said, I exercise. That keeps me, uh, that keeps you thinking and meditating. And prayer really helps. So that is what keeps me positive and just focusing on who I am as a person, who God created me to be, and being my authentic self is what helps me be a positive person. So guys, y'all can check out that other video, uh, ways of having a, uh, a good, healthy, uh, I can't remember the title, but just go back and watch it. I can't remember right now. But guys, those are all the questions that I have. And I hope to see you in the next video. And I hope that answers the questions that you guys sent me. Because like I said, I wrote them down. And I basically answered like 14 questions. So if you have anything else for me, guys, let me know. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. I love you so very much.